Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, we would like to thank you all for your support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Have you ever taken the Myers-Briggs personality test? The MBTI is a self-report inventory designed to identify and categorize people's personality types, strengths, and weaknesses into 16 different general personality types. The rarest category is INFJ, which stands for introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. People with this personality type are known to be gentle, thoughtful, and kind-hearted. However, with all the attention that the positive traits of INFJ receive, it's also necessary to focus on the negative aspects as well to provide a more realistic view of the INFJ personality type. So here are the main traits of the dark side of INFJ. Before we begin, we would like to make a disclaimer that this video is based on the Myers-Briggs type inventory, which is just a theory and has personality types that are just rough tendencies rather than strict classifications. Number one, bottling up negative emotions. Are you someone who would rather keep your problems to yourself to avoid conflict? As an INFJ, you prefer to keep the negative things to yourself so as to not burden anyone else with your problems or be misunderstood. But because you're so used to being a source of comfort for others and are used to adapting to the needs of others instead of prioritizing your own problems, you also have a tendency to lash out when someone wrongs you. As your problems and negative emotions pile up and go unaddressed, you may end up taking it out on the people around you. This can lead to irreparable damage to the relationships that you have with your closest family and friends. Number two, abruptly cutting people out of their lives. Have you felt overwhelmed and burdened by someone else's emotional needs? One of your main traits as an INFJ is that you're extremely sensitive and empathetic. However, when you have a tendency to always put yourself in other people's shoes, you end up experiencing an immense amount of emotional pain. Because of this, you might abruptly decide to cut people out of your life. While there are many situations where it's the right choice to cut people off, such as if they're emotionally abusive or deceptive, there are also times when you might've made too quick of a decision and lose a relationship that was actually worthwhile. Number three, extremely high expectations. Do you tend to expect a lot of things from the people you know? While it's normal for you as an INFJ to set extremely high expectations for yourself, you also have the tendency to set brutally high expectations for other people, especially family, close friends, and romantic partners. This is why you may feel like you're always experiencing disappointment or frustration from being let down all the time. But when you set unrealistic goals in life and seek only relationships that fit your idea of perfect, it can make it hard for people around you to actually connect with you. Number four, moodiness. Are you someone who prefers to hide your emotions rather than talking through them? As an extremely perceptive and deep feeling person, you tend to experience a lot of intense emotions. And although you try to hide it and avoid talking about them, it's quite easy to see how these emotions affect your behavior. Instead of your casual self, you may start to push people away for reasons that you yourself can't understand and isolate yourself from others to sort through your emotions until you can open up about them. Number five, self-destructive. As the N in INFJ suggests, people with this personality type are extremely intuitive and develop deep ideas and feelings. While this is often seen as one of your greatest advantages, it can also cause some trouble. Similar to how you can understand and feel emotions on a deeper level, you can also overthink and create problems in your mind that do not exist. This may happen when you try to find a deeper meaning to someone's words or actions, when there's nothing more than what they've said or done. You might also try to predict what someone will do without even giving them a chance, only because of a similar situation in your past that ended badly. Number six, stubbornness. Do you define yourself as someone who does not usually welcome change into your life? The judgment trait that you possess is responsible for this, since it defines your obsessive planning and future-oriented thinking. As such, you would much rather have things go the way that you planned, rather than having to accept unexpected changes. This stubbornness will also apply to other things in life and may result in a ton of mischances and opportunities for a better life. Are you an INFJ? Did you relate to any of the points we've mentioned? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.